excitement is in the air here at Oak Lanes in Westland for the final championship match of the 2023 Bowling Showcase Challenge. Welcome. I'm your host, Mark Martin. Here we are after 11 exciting weeks of thrilling head-to-head -head bowling action. Today is the day. Now, time for the bowling. 13 teams started this competition, all with one goal in mind, to be the Bowling Showcase Challenge champion. These 13 teams divided into two regions with the teams in each region going head to head in single game Baker elimination matches. When all the pins had fallen, we were left with two teams standing, the Thunderbolt region winner and the Oak Lanes region winner. Now it's time for those two teams to battle it out for all the glory. The lanes are dressed. Let's take a look at the two region winning teams who will be battling it out in this exciting final. The 2023 Bowling Showcase Challenge Championship match features Thunder Bowl region winner Five Star Lanes going up against Oak Lanes region winner Mary Bowl. Five Star Lanes' quest to be champions continues as they earn the right to represent the Thunder Bowl region by beating Thunder Bowl Lanes and Harbor Lanes to get to today's championship match. Defending champion Mary Bowl earned their spot as the Oak Lanes region representative by first beating Oak Lanes, the Fantastics, and finally Country Lanes to earn their spot in today's championship match. It's a Thunder Bowl region versus the Oak Lanes region, Mary Bowl versus Five Star Lanes. After all these weeks, a winner will be crowned. The teams are warming up behind us, the crowd is ready to cheer, and we're ready for the ultimate showdown. Joining me again today to bring you all the action and expert analysis is Oak Lanes proprietor Jason Papa and MDUSBC Association Manager Phil Goodman. We're going to take a quick commercial break. Don't go anywhere. We'll be right back with the start of this final championship match right here on Bowling Showcase. Metro Detroit USBC, your source for everything bowling in the bowling capital of the world. We are the largest affiliate of the United States Bowling Congress with over 30,000 members of all ages. We support USBC certified league competition and organize USBC certified tournament competition. We provide 18 tournaments for all members of our association, including men, women, youth, seniors, scratch and handicap competition. The top reasons for belonging to the Metro Detroit USBC are having your average recognized, bonding of league funds, rules of the game, assistance in resolving league issues, equipment standards of the game, charities, and awards. Visit us at mdusbc.com. If you've been involved in an auto accident, it can change your life. So can the attorneys at 1-800-LAWYERS. They have won thousands of cases and millions of dollars. When you need help, call 1-800-LAWYERS, the law office of Zamler, Schiffman, and Carfus. The Michigan State USBC provides tournament competition and recognition for men, women, and youth bowlers in Michigan. Tournaments include open women's and youth championships. Also, youth masters, queens, masters, and senior masters. Recognition includes first-time 300 games and 800 series for all members and 600 and 700 club memberships for women. Visit michigan-state-usbc.com for entry blanks and more information on the Michigan State USBC. We've been waiting 11 weeks for this point in time. This point in time, what is it? It's the Bowling Showcase Challenge Championship for this trophy. What do we have? We have a grudge match from last year. Mary Bowl beat Five Star last year, so Five Star is looking for revenge today. Wow, what a great setup. I mean, you couldn't have written a better script, and I'm uh, just fortunate to be here with you today. Well, Mary Bowl has won this event twice, and Five Star has come in second twice. So 
I'd say five stars got a. We'll see a where the rubber a, meets the road right a little, here. A little grudge match to uh, take right. care of here. So Mary Bowl with Matt Wrist starting out on lane four here at Oak Lanes. Yeah, we're still at Oak Lanes, even though the regional action is done. The championship action is here. Well, this is great. Matt leading off. Oh boy. Leaves the four, six, seven, eight, ten. The left hander's Greek church. I don't know whether it says that in the book or not. That's what I say. Gotcha. Well, that was not the start Matt was looking for. Not at all. He's going to shoot at the three pins on the left. Oh, man. Got he four. almost made that. He got four of them. He almost made that. Five Star Lanes leading off Roger Folkema. Roger's also a, uh, he's an Air Force veteran. Thank you for your service, Roger. The high average of 235. And Roger with the strike. Determined. Setting his team up. That's right. For a good game. Jared Gartner up for Mary Bowl on lane four. Been bowling for 30 years with a high average of 232. Jared's a power player. A lot of revs. Kind of checks up on him, leaves a three pin. Pretty makeable spare here. He's just going to move to the left and get the ball out there. Let his team move on to the next frame. He's throwing his spare ball straight at it. Take the lane out of play. That's right. Josh Lepansky up. He's a uh, occupational therapist with a high average of 223. Born in Tucson, Arizona. It's a 10 pin. Well, his father-in-law taught him how to bowl. Let's see if he taught him how to make 10 pins. Okay. Ouch, oh boy. Hey, Novella Daniels up. Mary Bowl now is a one pin lead. Her high average, 231. A strong lefty. Hmm. Leaves a corner pin, leaves a seven pin. Got a tie match now through going into, or in the third frame now. And in these championship matches, spares are so important. Can't leave any pins on the table. So in the regional championship, when Jerry Imhoff said, make that spare. Mm -hmm. Make those spares. Yeah, we've seen over the last 11 weeks how critical spare shooting can be, Oh, right? my goodness, yes. Didn't we see it last week? Marissa Lepansky, Josh's wife. She's also an occupational therapist. Came from a bowling family. Little wide leaves a two four five. And we have a tie match at this point. Both teams with twenty eight in the second. Spare in the third for Mary Bowl, and Marissa here aiming for the two four five. She's going to hook it at it a little bit. And, and covers it up. Made that one look easy. Yeah. All right, up for Mary Bowl, James Holly. Both teams working on spares, 28 in the second frame, working on spares. James has been bowling 23 years, 
high average of 247. Shooter is his nickname. 5,300 games to his credit. That's a lot of perfectos. Yeah. And a strike for James. Pat Cusick. He's a manager at Five Star. High average of 236, been bowling for 38 years. He He's loves scary movies. Let's see if he can get a scary strike here. He's been on the Five Star team every year they've been in the challenge. Hmm. Key component there. Use the two five eight. Now this is a tricky little spare here because you need to make sure you get the eight pin out with the bowling ball. But you gotta remember the five is up too. So really he needs to hook the ball into that two five pocket and then let the ball take out the eight. Can't take this one for granted. He was a little bit in the puddle in the middle. Yeah, that ball didn't quite finish into the no. end, did it? It just kind of deflected. That's right. Now in the fifth frame, Mary Bull has a 14-pin lead. Sean Schmidt now up. Mary Bull working on a strike and kind of a, can extend that lead. This guy throws a lot of strikes. Last week we saw that 10th frame to yeah, you, edge out country through three strikes to basically to win the game. Throws another one there. Sends it to 24 pin lead. Jim Grant Jr. Jim's also a uh, manager at Five Star. He's also bowled on the team each year that they've been in the challenge. High average of 234. Been bowling for 46 years. I believe he's been working at Five Star for a majority of those. Pulled right up on that one. He... Yeah, he didn't like it when he let it go. No. Didn't like it when he let it go and didn't like it when it got there. That's right. Fortunately, broke up the split, though. He's got a makeable spare here. He did. Fire hard at it across lane. Ooh. Not textbook, but it works. It works. That's right. So here we are with the halfway point of the Grand Championship Bowling Showcase Challenge here at Oak Lanes. We've got a pretty good match going on. We've got a 24 pin lead by the defending champion, Mary Bowl. They've won twice before. Five Star has been second twice before, including last year against Mary Bowl. Again, they're trying to exact some revenge, but uh, they got to do something different. We're going to talk to Jim Grant. Oh, yeah, we'll talk to Jim Grant after these messages on Bowling Showcase. The Hug Pickup, the Home Run Swing, the Drum Major High Step, the Genuine Joy, the Unforgettable Party, the Food, the Friends, the Original Social Network. No matter who you are, it's always a great time. Grab your family, find a friend, and go bowling. one 800 Lawyers has been winning cases for over 50 years in Southfield, Detroit, Warren, Taylor, Macomb, and all over Michigan. When it matters and you need help, call 1-800-LAWYERS. Back for the final half of the championship of the Bowling Showcase Challenge. Five-star, dug himself a little bit of a hole, down by 24 pins.
to the defending champion, Mary Bowl. We're going to go to Phil Goodman, who's going to talk to Jim Grant about how they're going to dig themselves out of that hole. Jim, you came in for the last couple years in second place, and last year you faced Mary Bowl. What was the mindset coming into this match? Mindset coming in today, we were expecting better than the start that we had. Uh, we got off to a bad start, and now we need to finish it out in the second half of the game. Okay, what's the strategy in moving forward? Strike out. Strike out, that's a good strategy. That's hoping, that's hoping what the strategy is, is a strike out. All right, well, let's talk it over the, to the, your teammates, and let's send it back to Mark and Jason. Okay, thank you. Thank you. So, Jason, uh, we'll see what... Uh, just strike them out. Yeah, strike out. It's simple, right? Just get them all down on the first ball. You know. Isn't that a baseball term? Yeah, strike them out. Strike them out. Strike them out. Strike them out. We'll get the little K's. You know, hold up the K sign. That's right. Well, this team can definitely do it. This five-star team is very talented, Again. and uh, they definitely have the ability to strike out. Roger Fulcomer starts out. He did throw a strike back in the first frame of this match. Maybe he can get another string started here. Trips the four. Well, Roger's done his job. That's the start. Two for two today. That's the beginning. It all starts with one. Matt Wrist now up. Left that dreaded left-hander's Greek church back in the first frame. Yeah, he's he's got to shake that off. He's got to get up there and make a better shot this time. And he did. His body language told me he thought that was going to be a little high, and yeah. it kind of held for him. Yeah, I think he, he, he hit that little puddle of oil in the middle there, and it definitely held for him. 34 pins down. Both teams working on strikes. Josh Lepanski up for five stars. Goes left, misses the head pin. Leaves the one three nine. Yeah, sometimes when you're down, you know, double digits, uh, twenty or thirty pins, you're you're over trying, trying too hard, overcompensating. Sometimes you just got to get up there and, and get loose and relax and try to make a good shot. Just pressing. Yep. He looked a lot more relaxed that second ball. He did. Jarrett Gartner now up for Mary Bowl. Back in the second frame, he left a three pin and converted it. Yeah. Yeah. Well, the crowd liked that one, huh? Four strikes in a row now for Mary Bowl. Extend their lead to 44 pins. Marissa Lepanski up in the eighth frame, working on a spare for five star. Yeah, Marissa really needs to throw a strike here to put her team in, back in this game. And she does it. She does. That was a critical shot there. Well, five star has a max score of 204. Mary Bowles working on a four bagger. Their max score is 258. Novella Daniels up for the Mary Bowl team. Oh, leaves a seven pin. Boy, a strike there would have really kind of sealed the deal on this match. And leaving that seven pin there kind of leaves the door open a little bit. Yeah, just a little for bit. For five star to get back into this. Yep. And the Hall of Famer covers the spare. Okay, five star down by 43 pins in the ninth frame. Pat Cusick coming up. If there's any time for a strike in your life, Pat, this is it. Yeah, it's do or die now. 38 300s to his credit, so we know he's capable. Oh, 
All right, big strike there. He wishes he would have thrown that, that same shot back in the fourth frame. Yeah. Better late than never. That's right. Keeps James, five star in this match. James Holly Jr. Shooter can virtually lock this match up right here. He liked it. He liked it when he let it go. Okay, here's the setup. Just like before in, the, in previous matches, Jim Grant strikes out here. It's 204 and he forces a mark out of Sean Schmidt. It's one shot at a time here, Jim. Gave it room. Very nice There's shot. one. Very nice shot there. Much better execution than in his uh, fifth frame of this game. Yes. Leaves a 4-9 split. Yeah, he stood up on it a little bit. I, th I don't think he really liked it when he let it go. No, I agree. One ninety one for five star. So Bill Kitson is subbing in for Sean Schmidt. And he virtually just needs to keep the ball on the leg. Crosses over, leaves a six pin. What a performance over the past several weeks by Mary Bull. You bet. I mean, they had their backs up against the wall several times, and they showed a lot of grit. They did. They most certainly did. And Bill covers that one up. Get a bonus ball here in the 10th frame. And an eight pin count. Here's the two five. Final score, Mary Bowl, 215, Five Star Lanes, 191. We have now a champion of the Bowling Showcase Challenge, and it's Five Star, or it's Mary Bowl again. Mary Bowl again. That's the name, of, that should be the name of their team, Mary Bowl again. Don't Mary you think, Jason? Yeah, you know what? The, these five bowlers, six bowlers today, really, they, they bowled as a team, they won as a team. They, you know, they everybody contributed. I mean, that's that's the true nature of bowling. Everybody contributes. Everybody participates. True. So we'll be back after these messages. We're going to go out and do the trophy presentation on bowling show. As I said before the break, we have our champion, and our champion is Mary Bowl. Novella. Your team bowled great the entire series. 
Do you want to say some congratulations to your team? Sure. Congratulations, guys. You both great all season. So proud of you. Um, you know, I couldn't be even more overjoyed because, you know, you allowed me to join you. Thank you. So, Novella, in this last match against Five Star, yes. I think the key to the match was the four strikes between the fourth frame and the seventh frame. So what are you trying to say? I didn't strike either time? Because I, I did the third and the eighth. You did the third and the eighth. Yeah, you were, you there were, were the, no strikes for me. You were the bookends. Oh, okay. okay. But you made but both, I, you made I both your both spares. Two sevens. That, I you made that. both your spares. But you know, my team is very proud of you just then because you threw me under the bus and I've been throwing them under the bus the whole series. So that was my payback. And I'm, he's smiling like crazy right now. <laughs> okay. Well, congratulations. This is the third time winning for the Mary Bowl team. So we're going to rename the team. It's going to be called Mary Bowl again. Mary Bowl again is our new name because we're three in a row I like it. and we'll be back okay you bet you will and here comes the trophy whoop whoop bring it to me baby <laughs> I got it okay like all of you to get together and congratulate the Mary Bowl team on their championship here <laughs> Novella Great job. Thank you. Make sure you let Rich know that we appreciate all his support for the, for the series and Bowling Showcase, and we'll see you again next year. Yes, you will. Thank you, and I sure will. Okay. So, so Right. Yeah. Don't let it go. So here we go. We've got the same champion, the same runner-up. Oak Lane's almost had revenge and couldn't pull the job off. It's been a great 12 weeks of competition in the Bowling Showcase Challenge. Absolutely. Jason, once again, thank you. Greatly appreciated your support. Um, greatly appreciated you being my co-host through these 12 weeks, or at least last through the last eight, I should yeah, say. Yeah, absolutely. Um, it's been another great season. Well, thanks for having me. I really appreciate you giving Oak Lanes and you know our organization a chance to be involved in the Bowling Showcase. Uh, in this capacity, so we definitely appreciate you as well. All right, so we've got one more show this year of Bowling Showcase. Not a challenge show, we've got one more show. That's a season wrap-up. It'll be next week on Bowling Showcase. So we'll look for you then on Bowling Showcase. Cool.